In this video, I would like to show you how to build a barn. So I know this is not the typical place where you build a barn, but the reason I'm here is because a sand place is very flat. So, of course, you know me, I don't like to waste time on anything. Let's just jump right into building a barn. Now you can make them of different varieties like wood or concrete. We're gonna go ahead and do concrete because it looks cool. To put it quite simply, you're just gonna put down a base or foundation, you're gonna use white. And yes, you can come back and remove it later. Now the length, it really doesn't matter. You just get to decide however long you want your barn to be. And as far as going the other direction, again, the same, but it does work nicely if you make it an even number. So let's go two, three, three, four. Let's have a four open. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and of course the outside. Okay, let's fill it in. Oh. Ah, okay. Oh, I didn't do it quite right, did I? Well, let's just... Here's a nice thing about when you make mistakes in Minecraft. Just roll with it. Or was that right? Uh -huh. One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four. My eyes are just crazy. Okay. We'll go ahead and leave it like that. Now, go ahead and build the sides. Um, five high is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, let's do five high. One, two, two three, four, five. Two, three, four, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And then fill it in. Whoops. Great, we filled it in. Now the next thing is to... Well, let's actually do the entryway, huh? And typically I would have a grass interior, but really you can do whatever you want. Now I like to make it so that outside, where you first walk in, comes in a little bit. So you're actually going to put the concrete right here first. Just to make it so it looks like that. And yeah, let's go ahead and put some glass there. You can do one or two. Let's go ahead and do two down. Now the sides, I do like to make it flush with the outside, so you can go ahead and do that. Just fill it in. Okay, I just filled in the whole sides. Great. Now we're going to go ahead and put down our fence. Choose whichever color you like. And you're just going to build it across, and then you're going to count two down. One, two, and then put a fence. One, two, put a fence. One, two, put a fence. One, two. Uh, let's leave that last section open. One, two, fence. One, two, fence. One, two, fence. One, two. Leave it open. Then go ahead and put down a gate, and it does make it easy to make it a different color just so you know where the, the gates and the fence are different. But really, it's not that big of a deal. That's just something I like to do. Gate, 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 gate. Mm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> and I like to leave the back end open. Now what you can do is you can actually put gates here and put like multiple horses in here. Or me, I just like to leave it open and then maybe I'll put like a doorway in the back here. Let's see, where's the center? Right here. We'll, we'll leave this right here. Um, so that horses can walk out in the back. And then you can actually build a corral out in the back. It's quite nice. It's up to you, though, if you want to do that. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a way to get upstairs. You can use stairs or ladders. I like to use ladders because horses can't climb ladders, really. And then that will be the upstairs area. Now we need some slabs. And you can use, again, whatever slab you want. I think an interior for a barn it always looks good when you use oak. Oops. But, of course... I want to make sure that can come up here. And what you're going to do is basically just connect it with where the fences are going to come up. So fill it in right here and go across. Now I'm going to fill it in the rest of the way. Okay, and it's filled in the rest of the way. Good, now we connect the fences to the top. And then use slabs, oops, to make them connect all the way. Great, now we've got this area, and technically you can put your horse in there. You know, just pretend you have horses or whatnot. 
great. Now we have the upstairs and we're ready to begin constructing the upstairs area. So, I'm gonna go ahead and come up. And, let's see, yeah, go up two. And we're not going to fill in any more white. The rest is gonna be red. And just do this all the way front to back. Okay, it's filled in all the way. Now it's time to do the roof line. And we're gonna use concrete stairs, or excuse me, quartz. I wish there were concrete stairs, I'm waiting for that still. Quartz, and then you get to decide what you want to be for the top. Uh, most often we choose something like dark oak stairs, or another thing that looks good is something in the gray variety, which is what we're gonna do, so we're gonna choose polished andesite stairs. Now come over here, and build right that got to give yourself the outline for your barn. Now you can go down as far as you like on this side, but we're not going to. So what we're going to do is make what's called a gambrel roof line. A gambrel roof line is where it uh, has four sections instead of two. So it'll come up steep and then shallow out. And basically you just want to take your dimensions, however long this is, and cut it in half. So we know it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means four, so one, two, three, four. Now the rest is gonna be slabs. And I just realized I made a mistake. You wanna outline it, line it with white. Yeah, oops. Make it white. But you still remember it's four. One, two, three, four. And then use the quartz slab. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna come do it the other side and connect it. Okay, so it's connected. And now it's four and four, and that gives us the outline. Now what we're gonna do is just make this come across and do the exact same thing on the back and then fill it in. So we've got the outline, now just fill it in across with your stairs and slabs. Okay, so the roof line is now all filled in. Now up here, we can just fill it in the rest of the way to the top, and then use a slab to connect it. We go to the other side, and we, uh, let's see, do you use white or red? It's up to you. I'm actually gonna use red this time, and you want to put a block wherever there's a slab or stair. And where a block didn't fit, go ahead and put another slab and another stair. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now, a general rule of thumb that a lot of people don't know is it's better to have fewer windows than, windows than more. So keep that in mind when you go to put in your windows for the barn. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna say, nope, filled in a little more. Uh, I think we can go do this. Whoops. Ah. Yep, that's about right. But I want to make sure the people down below can view. So we'll just open it up like that. Good. Put the window in. Ooh. Now the front side you can do both. You can either leave it open so it looks like this. Or you can put in another layer, which is what I'm going to do. And then put in your window. Pretty cool, huh? Now let's finish with our fencing. And we've got the fence all around. So you can come up here and then I usually put a bed somewhere in here. I always like to put at least two beds in each building so you and your friend have a place to sleep. And down here is where I'll usually put a chest for saddles and golden carrots. And you got your horses here, I'll put some torches around to light it up and you can build the outside. But look at that, you've already got a barn. Now one little thing that can sometimes help is use stairs to outline openings. 
It's a very small, simple, subtle thing, but it actually looks great. And you can even do that to window areas like that. The uh, process of that is technically greebling. Whoops. But it's great, okay? Oh, well, hey, guess what? We just built a barn. Very simple. But yet, yeah, it's nice, and it is gambrel. And sometimes I'll even remove some of these and put red there instead. Or just do things on the outside, which is greebling, which is just random things to make it look more interesting like that. Right? Okay, well, that's it, so... That's how you build a barn.